What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Brennan, a.k.a. Black Ninja Turtle. And I'm Joy, a.k.a. Joy Mobley Music. And welcome to our YouTube channel, Mobley Fit. Fit. And today we're going to talk about, will you let your hair stop you from working out? What do you think about that, babe? I know that a lot of women, and I'm not speaking for every woman. I'm speaking for myself as well as other women that I know have an issue with um, freshly getting their hair done and trying to maintain that hairstyle, but also trying to maintain their body and um, keeping it in shape. But they would rather forget about working out and have a nice hairdo. Um, a lot of times you'll hear women say, I don't want to work out because I'll mess up my hair. Comment below if you can relate. Um, and let me just say, I was at this point at the beginning of our marriage where I sometimes wouldn't go to the gym with him because I had just got a fresh fresh press. My hair is natural, so it kinks up as soon as, you know, it gets a little sweat on the edges. So I was not going to go to the gym with him because I just paid so much money for my hair. Um, whether it was a sew-in and it was fresh, I wasn't about to get my hair done. So, I mean, go to the gym. So I would stop going to the gym with him and, and I would see the pounds pack on. And it got to the point where he nipped that in the butt. Babe, what do you think about that? I think you have to make a decision on if you want to have nice hair or do you want to be in shape? It's about And you can have both. You can have both. You just have to find out what works for you. But totally tossing out the whole workout plan for your hair, I mean, it's just a common issue that a lot of us African American women go through. Right. And I and see, even even with me, when I first started getting locks, um, I used to get palm roll, but me working out so much, the palm roll method didn't work, so I started getting my hair interlocked. Um, a lady told me about getting interlocked for people that work out. So once I started getting my hair interlocked, I can go to the gym right after I left the chair and my hair would stay looking fresh for so long because it's interlocked. So you have to find what best fits you. I wasn't gonna let my dreads not let me work out and get the, the look I want. So interlocking works just as good. So hey, women, find something that best fits you, whether you have to get braids or go to the beauty shop and find you like a nice head scarf or a nice head wrap and, and keep it tight while you're at the gym, I guess. And I mean, I, I know y'all be walking around. I see a lot of people walking around going like that, but I mean, do you want to do that or do you want to have messed up hair? Messed up or overweight? Or overweight. So I am going to share with you what I use when I work out because this was, like I said, towards the beginning of our marriage that I would literally stop going to the gym with him because I got a fresh hairdo and I didn't want to mess it up. Um, but my body was suffering because of that. So what I did was, um, you guys know the actor Boris Kojo, his wife has actually a headband, a workout headband um, line out um, that keeps your edges nice and smooth. And you can get any size, any color, you can actually just get the headband or you can get the whole scarf. I actually have both. And when I tell you it works for me, it works for me. It also comes um, with the pomade that you can rub on your edges to keep them down while you sweat. But for me, if I just got my hair done and I put that on, it works perfectly. My hair is still laid after that. And that's um, for natural hair or if you have perm, whatever it may be. I wear it sometimes when I have braids. It's for your edges or you can use it for your whole head. So sometimes you feel like showing your hair in the gym, sometimes you don't. You just have to find what works for you and this is what works for me. Um, so, Babe, does it matter to you for me about my hair when I work out? No, I, me, honestly, I don't care if she comes in here with a ponytail. You know, it, it really doesn't matter. As long as she's in here working out and getting the results that she needs to get. Um, if we're going somewhere for that weekend, hey, go get your hair done on that Friday. So on Saturday and Sunday, it'll look nice and fresh. And then hit it back again on Monday. Cause really, you know, uh, with this pandemic, everybody's teleworking anyway. And this seems like it might be the new norm with people work from home more anyway. So, hey, what does it matter? You know, uh, what does it matter? Yeah, so um, just find out what works for you and your spouse because we're, we're giving you advice from our marriage journey, you know. Right, guys, you should want your woman to look nice. Um, 
I'm not saying you shouldn't want her to hair to look nice, but what I am saying is, you know, kind of go easy on her during the week. And then when y'all go out, you appreciate it because then you can start buying her different kind of outfits because she's getting more in shape. And then let her go to get her hair done on that Saturday morning. After that, you give her that nice outfit and I promise you, you'll be happy. So comment below, let me know what you think. Does your hair matter when you work out? Um, are you willing to sacrifice your hair to work out? Or do you feel your hair is more important than working out? Let us know below, we'd love to hear you guys. Once again, thank you for watching Mobley Fit and we hope that you will join us on this fitness journey as we help each other help you. Have a good one.